everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and today I am going to do a kind of like a summer spring fun colored look. I bought, I Jeffree Star is just such a huge inspiration makeup wise and his brand is just amazing and he does really great products. And a while ago they had a sale on some of the lipsticks and this one is Breakfast at Tiffany's which is just ridiculous. And I was just super inspired by this. I bought it, I've had it for a while and I've been meaning to do a tutorial. No, I'm, I shouldn't be hands watching ever. That's what it is. It's like this teal, like it's literally the color from Breakfast at Tiffany. So I wanted to do this as a super thick, like winged eyeliner with a little bit of black, flawless base, and just like a really pretty uh, purpley pink lip, which I think would be really pretty. And this is actually, it's all dirty. Ooh. This is actually the Too Faced Melting Matte from the Candy Johnson collection. And this is Tropical Punch and it, it smells like a baked good and look how pretty like those two colors together so i've had this cooking in my head for a while so i'm finally excited that i get to sit down and like actually do it my hair i just kind of tinted it i keep seeing people with like this purpley pinky mucky like toner so i just threw this on real quick and i kind of like it I, like it. I just use of course i use like arctic box i mix like four different ones together so okay so i'm gonna tie my hair back Protein chick. So I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna moisturize my face again. This is my Emberly Lay Creme Concentrate. Lay Creme Concentrate. And I'm just gonna. I already have a little bit of this on from earlier in the day because I washed my face, but I'm gonna put a drop more on just because I need my face to be moisturized for this. I'm so excited to be filming again. Ah, it feels so good. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of. I'm gonna put a couple of the the ordinary caffeine solution. This is like the under eye treatment. I need to get more of this but I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put a droppy two, drop underneath my eyes just so they're not poof. This just helps with poofiness and dark circles. This was like five bucks and I think I've had this for like eight or nine months. It's finally starting to go. So I'm just gonna very, very gently rub that in. I actually go all the way around my eye. And then um, just so I have, just so everything goes on really smooth because my skin's been kind of funky. With the weather in, I live in Pennsylvania, so with the weather here, like I said, it's been like sprinter. Like my skin doesn't know what to do. It's kind of freaking out. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my Lorac Perfection. It's a mattifying primer, but I find it to not really be mattifying. I find it to just be more soothing because it's kind of like a silicone one. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on. So how are you kids doing? It's been a while, it's been a hot minute. I haven't really, I tried to film like two videos at a time because I still work, like I said, I still work a regular job. And then I try to edit these and then get them up. But sometimes life just kind of sucker punch you in the gut. I'm gonna do my face first and then I'll do the eyeliner because I want a really good base for everything. And I'm not doing like a crazy eye look. It's more it's more just a winged eyeliner, so I'm not too worried about it. So I'm gonna use some of my Boing Benefit Boing uh, right? <laughs> Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer. And this is in 1O. And I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques stamp sponge and I'm just gonna swipe it in there and tap it on. So this will probably be a pretty chatty video. If you know me in real life, you know I'm a chatterbug. So I love me to chat. This stuff is a miracle. I love it. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm going to mix a couple different foundations together and I'm going to use drugstore. Actually following this tutorial, I'm going to do a, um, like my favorite drugstore foundations, which I think would be kind of fun because everybody always asks me. And I actually have more drugstore foundations than I do like the more high end ones because they're just too expensive. So for foundation, I'm gonna kind of make a little cocktail. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Pro Glow, blah, blah, Pro Glow Infallible L'Oreal foundation. And this one's in 201 and 204. Pro tip right here with the seasons changing and different stuff like that, like you're tanning and then you're also in the winter. The coolest, the smartest thing you can do is to get one foundation that's super light, like basically your regular lightest color, like your pale color, and then get another one that's a lot, like a couple steps darker. And you can kind of mix them as the seasons change and you just have, you only need two foundations. Smartest thing ever. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix those two, I'm gonna mix a little bit of those two together, like maybe just a couple drops of the 204. And then I might put a little bit of my Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation, just because I like this stuff and it's super hydrating. So, so I'm just gonna put a couple drops. Okay, cool. Just a couple drops all over my face, just little baby drops. And then I'm just gonna go and put a couple this is just how I mix it on my face. I'm gonna use my Morphe M43, M34 brush. I'm so dyslexic. And I'm just gonna kinda mix that 
and get that all on my skin. And that dark will just mix right in with it and you don't have any like weird splotchy plot, like spots. You can mix it on the back of your hand if you want to. I just like this because I'm not wasting product. Oh yeah, my last tutorials I didn't chat because I did voiceovers. I totally forgot. You guys missed me chatting up. I have some different health issues and stuff like that. And when I say that, I have really bad adrenal fatigue and like thyroid issues. And I'm gonna put a couple drops of this on. And um, February, I was doing really, really good. Like February, I had gotten down to a smaller, like my weight is just crazy. Like I can't, I've done everything and my weight just like won't go down. And that happens a lot when you have adrenal fatigue because your cortisol is out of, cre out of lack and cortisol will make your body, especially your belly, retain a lot of fat. Like your body's like, and it doesn't want to calm down. <laughs> I was doing really good in February and then March, I got a really, really bad cold and that kind of taxed my body. And then my husband's car broke down We had a new car and financial stress. And then again, work has just been insane. Yes, I still have my job. Oh my gosh, look how much better that is. If you've ever heard of adrenal fatigue, I mean, a lot of times in America, it's not really, a lot of doctors don't believe in it. So um, I actually go to a natural path and she's awesome. I love her family. Her daughter's amazing. Hello, Amanda. You know, so she's been helping me a lot with everything. But one of the crazy side effects of adrenal fatigue is besides being unbelievably exhausted, you have no like stress just makes like you don't have any resilience against stress like your body's completely exhausted so you're always like this and my it's been so bad that my hair is actually starting to fall out and this is like the first time i've actually like done my hair it was kind of hard for me because i i went into a lot of self-doubt trying to film a video and i didn't know what i was like how am i gonna like i don't know i just don't feel good about myself so i was like all right it's very weird because I've always had super thick hair, even as much as I've like completely fried my hair, I still have had a good head of hair, but now it's not doing so well. So I'm hopefully, I'm on a new different type of like supplements and everything like that. And I'm starting a different, I've started a different diet. And um, I was on the keto diet because it was so good because it just like, I just felt really good on it, but it kind of zonked out. Again, it zonked out my, adrenals so um oh this is the and i'm just using the color pop uh, no filter concealer and this is in number 10 light 10. just want to make sure i get that everywhere so i'm trying a different diet out it's called the adrenal reset diet you're cycling your carbs so that by the end of the day you have more carbs and it kind of settles your body down and like soothes your adrenals and your body is ready to go to bed and actually sleep so i started that about a week ago and i've already lost about four pounds so I'm very, very hopeful, very, very hopeful that my body heals, my weight goes back down, like my weight will finally go down, so. Anyways, that's what's going on with me. Let's, let's get back to makeup. So this is such a good concealer. This was only seven, this is $7. It lasts forever. Like, it's so good. I'm gonna set my foundation with the RCMA loose powder. I am gonna try to bake a little bit. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge. I'm gonna pat it in that powder and go right over top of all of that. Could I look any more white? Probably not. All right, I fixed my lighting. I don't feel as white. I don't feel as whited out. Okay, so I didn't put anything. I just kind of pushed. I I just kind of pushed the um, powder in where I had the concealer because I'm gonna I'm gonna bronze my face up and I didn't want to get powder everywhere. Um, I'm gonna be using, this is kind of a newer product for me too. I've never actually used this until I saw another YouTuber use it and I bought it on a discount. Price. This is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer and it's like a stick like this. Bella Jordan, I think had it. The way that she was using it, you just take this and you just kind of mark it out like you would and she uses it as her contour and bronzer. So I'm just gonna stay towards the back of my cheek. It smells like, it smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> I'm gonna use a Real Techniques expert. Oh, I don't do well with lids. I don't do well with lids. Gently, Christina. I'm gonna use a expert face brush from Real Techniques just to kind of blend that in. It's just a super pretty color. So I'm just kind of, I don't wanna move the foundation too much, so I'm just kind of pressing it up in that area. 
and it just gives like the prettiest like it's more of a it's a little bit cooler than what you think in the stick it's just a really pretty product and it's super easy and fast my five head I think I want a little ham and put it on my neck just to make sure it's seamless so I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera. As usual, I'm gonna be using my Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in one, and I'll be right back once those are done. I think my eyebrows look okay. Maximum effort. We're gonna, I'm gonna zoom in, and we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the eyes next. That's close. <laughs> that's, that's close. I'm actually gonna be like super professional and use a little bit of an eyeshadow primer. Mm, I'm gonna put a little bit here, just so the eyeliner works really well. And then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and a little bit of like a bone color. I'm just gonna set that right there. So what I may do, and this is kind of like a trick um, with doing winged eyeliner, is I may do the winged eyeliner first, and then I'll go in and put the crease color on. That's what I want to do. So I'm gonna use um, this is a Tarte. This is just a Tarte eyeliner brush that I really really like. I think they have they make really nice ones. So, so I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand as my palette. And I'm gonna take some on my brush and I'm gonna spray real hard. So far so good. I feel like I might have to do a couple of layers of this. Anyways, I was talking about switching diets. Um, I was doing a keto diet and I liked it because I just was never bloated and I never had any problems with water or anything like that. But it was like majorly messing up all my uh, electrolytes. Now my best friend, Ashley, has lost 65 pounds on the keto diet, so. He's just a rock star, man. I always start with the most product in the middle and then work my way around, and then that way, um, I'm not just going nuts with all that product. Mm -hmm. All right, let's make the other side match. Don't worry about that creasing under those eyes, people. I'm just gonna take a black liner and I just wanna put a very, like a very thin line just to show that I have a little bit of definition there. I'm gonna use my kitten liner from uh, Tarte. I don't wanna mess this up. You can see I'm just pressing. One of my really, really favorite palettes. This is the Lorac, Lorac Pro. This is the first palette that they had out. And I'm gonna take a little bit of, I just wanna look, curve out a little bit of my crease. So I'm gonna take a little bit of, this is, you can sell this in a well week. I love this one, especially for brides. I'm gonna take a, like a pointed fluffy brush and take a little bit of light brown and cool, cool gray. And mix those kind of together. Go in my crease. Just to kind of, Put some depth into that. I'm just gonna take my, I'm gonna take a, like a, I'm gonna take a little bit more of a pointier one. Just very gently go into those. Just darken that part up right there. I'm gonna, I wanna keep the bottom really clean, um, but I wanna make sure the eye is really open. So I'm gonna use um, like a flesh colored eyeliner. And this is a really good thing, like if you want your eyes to look bigger and brighter, um, this one's from ColourPop. It's super old. I don't even know what the color is, but it's like the flesh colored one. I'm just going to put that in my, my bottom waterline. I think I might just take a smidgen of those colors and just kind of gently blend that in the bottom line. I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on because we are going to put some nice lashes on, but I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on. This is my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I'm gonna take some of my clay pot eyeliner and I'm just gonna push a little bit of liner underneath my top waterline because I am so white. We're zooming back out. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish. You can tell I need some, need a little bit of color in my face. For, I'm gonna use like this contour highlight duo from Tarte. So I'm gonna take that on a brush. Redefine those cheeks. For blush, I thought a really, really pink 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 would go really pretty so this is the mac oh my gosh i don't even know what it says pink swoon i used to use this all the time oh my god back in the day 
So I'm gonna put a little bit of that. I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush. Do, do, do. This brush sheds so much, but I love it. So I don't wanna get rid of it. That highlighter out of that palette too. Let's use a fan brush. I'm not kidding, it smells like chocolate. Mm. Buying my time so I don't have to do my lipstick. I'm gonna put, let's put a little bit of an inner corner highlight too. I'm gonna use, this is the NARS Earthshine. And it's just this like purpley pink iridescent. So I'm just gonna take a little, little fluffy, fluffy brush. Just put a little bit of that right there. And because I'm amazing and because I can't, no, I don't know when to stop. And put a little bit as a brow highlight too. I mean, this is just, uh, I'm just gonna use a lip pencil from NYX. This is Rose, just to try to outline my lips. To help me. I don't know. Okay, so then I'm gonna put my Too Faced Melted Matte on a Tropical Punch. Mm. I don't think I did that bad. I kept eyeing up the Lily Lashes. And if you've ever looked them up, they're like $30. Yes, they are definitely reusable. You can use them up to 20 times, but that's still a lot of money. I found the Christmas edition ones for $5.99. These are the Miami ones. I'm gonna use those today. I'm gonna put those on. The inner corner is not wanting to stay down. Oh. I love makeup. I've been feeling like so crappy. Like I said, my hair has been falling out and I just don't, I haven't felt like myself. So this is just fantastic. I feel so much better. I really want to do this for a living. Inner corner is just sitting kind of weird, but yeah, we're gonna go with it. All right. little bit more blush and highlighter on just because for my own benefit. Okay, I've been playing with the inner order of my eyelash for like five minutes and it's finally settling down. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention all of the Jeffree Star lipsticks are eye safe. So don't just randomly put anything on your eye. Make sure it's eye safe and these are, you know, these are, you know, cruelty free, vegan, and there's nothing in it that's really gonna like harm your eyes. It's just a word of the wise. So don't think you could just take anything and put it on your eyes. Like very, very careful. Especially with like, glitter and stuff. Ah, oh, people, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with your eyes. So, anyways, I like how my hair turned out too. Not too bad. I bought these giant hoops and I've been wanting to wear them in a video, and I keep forgetting about them. So I'm gonna put them in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link everything I use down below, and I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks, guys.